Hi, this is Ed Hammerly from NJ Renewable Energy. Of all the projects we've done all across the state, I have to tell you this is my fondest one, and that's the, the Maddox building here in downtown Jersey City. This 32 kW system provides most of the common area lighting um, for, the, for almost the entire building. In addition to that, what I find really intriguing about this is not just these fantastic views that you have across the river, but more the symbolism that you see in each of the buildings or, or areas that you look. Everywhere you look, in my opinion, reminds me of something to do with renewable energy or at least the future of this country. Come take a look and I'll show you what I mean. So I will start with our most recent past, and that is the devastating effects from Hurricane Sandy. It is without a doubt that due to the ever-increasing level of CO2, carbon dioxide, that climate change is upon us. Our reliance on fossil fuels must end. Or we will continue to see the yearly images of floods, fires, droughts, and glacier melting. The World Trade Center. I would never suggest that September 11th isn't a highly complicated world event. However, it is undeniable that our occupation of land in countries that don't like us in order to secure our oil interests have inflamed people around the world. We would undoubtedly be safer if we could be energy independent while, great, while greatly reducing our global military footprint. Energy independent. Independent, just like the top of the World Trade Center spire that reaches 1776 feet tall. So our forefathers wanted to be independent. It seems like making 100% American clean energy would do just that. Additionally, it states in the Declaration of Independence, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Seems like that would be pretty difficult if you came home and your house looks like this. Or this. Or this. Last but not least, our final symbolic structure, the Statue of Liberty. This statue, of course, has many different meanings for many different people, but I think freedom is, is a common thought. And I think all Americans should have the freedom to breathe clean air, drink clean water, and use and cultivate clean land. Surrounded by all these views is why this project has given me such pride that we are trying to make the world a better place for generations to come. Want to learn more about renewable energy, sustainability, EV charging, or anything else in between? Contact me at njrenewableenergy.com.